people my people welcome back to best Aussies booze news and reviews and tonight we're finishing up the uh, little sample pack of Umeshu and tonight <coughs> sorry I like the new facial fuzz I'm going for a different look we're doing the three uh, aged Umeshu so we've done the um, brand new stuff we've done the one year and this is the final bit of it and hopefully this has been aged in something resembling other than a um, cut stainless steel vat so mm. Oh, that is really good and just like that I've done a super fast change did you see the blur as I left the room re-entered it and I had that change different shirt so yeah this is quite pleasant um, it's very umeshu on the nose so very silky mouthfeel and it should be appearing about there. Okay, I've got that to begin with. So it's appearing there. Yeah, unlike the other two in this um, say per pack, I actually wouldn't mix this with any. I just put this out. Good healthy measure, as in you know two or three shots. And I'll sip on this whilst reading a good book, or. Uh, obviously Japanese food is what I combine it with so yeah this is three year aged Umeshu from Choya and um, big kanpai to anyone who wants to go trying theirs it's delicious it comes in big bottles and I think most well stocked Asian groceries and all food shops that um, are known to have a large Asian demographic in the area are going to be stocking this baby so that's what you got to be doing. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I'm putting my images. <laughs> yeah, it's only taken me two years. So, thank you, people, my people. So, subscribe, like, share, and I'll go off and find another Asian booze next week. Let's go and do shoju. Thank you for subscribing.